Now to the breaking news in the debate over the safety of your children's juice. A brand new investigation out this morning says there is potential danger lurking in what your kids are drinking. ABC's Lindsay Davis has the latest. How can you do testing in just one lab because without getting those, those results confirmed by other labs? No good scientist would ever do that kind of work. It was a fierce debate that all started with this dramatic statement from Dr. Oz. Some of the best known brands in America have arsenic in their apple juice. Our own Dr. Richard Besser fired back, saying research done by the FDA showed the arsenic found in some juices was harmless. We were telling parents that they are poisoning their children, and you have absolutely no evidence. But this morning, brand new evidence that there is a potential danger in your child's juice. Consumer Reports did its own investigation, testing both apple and grape juice. They tested 88 samples, among them some of America's favorite brands. 10% had total arsenic levels greater than the federal standard for drinking water. What's more, 25% of them also had lead levels higher than the FDA standard for bottled water. The Juice Products Association responded by saying juice is not water. To compare the trace levels of arsenic or lead in juice to the regulatory guidelines for drinking water is not appropriate. In a statement to ABC News about the Consumer Report data, the FDA said a small percentage of samples contain elevated levels of arsenic. In response, FDA has expanded our surveillance activities and is collecting additional data. This is movement, and that's, you know, that's encouraging, but we really want to see the agency get to a point where they figure out the right level. Just over a week ago, the agency announced the results of its own testing of apple juice, most made right here in the U.S. They found eight samples out of 160 had arsenic levels that exceeded the FDA's current level of concern for inorganic arsenic. For Good Morning America, Lindsay Davis, ABC News.